Being powerful and famous is like getting drunk. Stay with me now because this analogy is going to make a lot of sense. When you drink, it doesn't change you. It lowers your inhibitions. Basically, what you otherwise would have done, but your conscience or your will says don't do that, you're going to do that. That's why for me, it just amplifies my goofiness, my silliness, and sometimes I actually get emotional and heartfelt because that's how I am normally. So alcohol just amplifies that. If you know about alcohol, you know this is true. That's why when somebody drinks and they become abusive, it's not that the alcohol made them evil. It lowered their inhibitions and they acted on the horrible person that they are. So alcohol doesn't change you just like fame doesn't change you. It lowers your inhibitions. It makes you feel better than you are. It makes you more confident and it makes you do the things you otherwise would have. And that's why the point of this video is to warn you that when somebody becomes famous and they do something predatory, like all of the YouTubers on this app, and this whole thing came about because my friends, they'll joke with me, they have a little bit of a dark humor, and they'll say, oh, you got a thousand subscribers now, don't do something scandalous because every YouTuber, they blow up and they do something horrible and disgusting. And it made me think, why is that so prevalent? Well, the answer is most people are bad people, and that sounds really pessimistic, but there are very few people left in the world that do things out of the goodness of their heart. It's a dying behavior and it's unfortunate. Now, I'm not gonna try to push the cross on you. I don't just mean predators like adults who prey on kids, which is horrendous and that should be the worst type of punishment. Nothing to joke over, just absolutely despicable how you can do that to a child. But I'm talking about predators in the fitness industry. Predators who will know that you're fat, know that you're out of shape, and unlike me who tells you that abs can be achievable by doing 15,000 steps a day, putting on muscle mass and being diligent with your diet, they'll say it's capsaicin. They'll say it's my special program. They'll say it's this exotic fruit from the Ivory Coast. When really the truth is, if you have a healthy diet with a lot of micronutrients, a lot of protein, etc., and you do what you're supposed to do, you'll get the abs eventually. You'll get the muscles eventually. But most people don't want to teach you that because it's more profitable to lie to you, to take advantage of you. So when somebody subscribes to my channel, for example, I take that as a gamble. It's a gamble on your part. And that's why I respect it so much because you're saying that I'm going to subscribe to this guy because I like what he has to offer and I'm going to continue to absorb what he has to give me. But that's a gamble because how many self-improvement YouTubers have come on this app and been predators? whether literally a predator that belongs on a watch list or somebody who preys on your insecurities and instead of offering you answers, offers you a course. I talk about monetization and making money on YouTube, but you're not paying me. YouTube would be paying me. AdSense would be paying me. Perhaps sponsorships, right? If I find the right brand of pre-workout, maybe I get sponsored by Celsius because that's like the energy drink of all time. Stuff like that I find okay. And maybe, I don't know, a t-shirt here and there if I have a funny catchphrase or whatever but I'm not going to prey on you. I'm not going to sell you a course like my powerlifting video I just made. That's a whole bunch of free information. If I was smart about it and basically a jerk, I could have put that into an ebook format, charged you $50 a piece for it, said this is copyright, this is confidential, when really my powerlifting training is a mishmash between Jim Wendler's 5 through 1, juggernaut training systems, and a whole bunch of stuff I've learned from the American powerlifting system, and I mishmashed it into my own thing, and I shared it with the world for free. That's not just me being generous, I will admit. That's me wanting YouTube views because my information is good, and it's going to help people, which is good. So in turn, you're helping me by making my channel bigger and offering me the chance to make thousands and thousands of dollars in AdSense by the year 2050. I don't know. But that's besides the point. The point is, I don't disagree with trying to become famous, trying to acquire power. The problem is most people use it for perverted reasons. And the biggest reason why, to answer the question I pose in the title, why are so many YouTubers becoming predators? They're not becoming predators. EDP was always like that. All the other weirdos who I'm not even gonna, they don't deserve to be named. They've always been like that. All of the self-improvement guys, and this is like I talk about me being an underdog with all the injuries I've been through, but sometimes I'm hesitant to talk about it because I understand that even I have an ego. I have a huge ego and I'm trying to work on it. So, so many self-improvement guys, they get a bunch of these YouTube subscribers, they get a bunch of views, they get a bunch of watch time, and then they think that they're better. It's my pet peeve, but the reason I hate it is because of self-reflection of me, because I have an ego the size of Texas, and I've been working on it, but I know that I have a tendency to lean towards that, so I'm trying to fix it. But 
a lot of these guys, right, in the self-improvement space, you see the way that they talk to you, they almost talk down you. There's one guy in particular who's been caught up in a lot of scandals and now he's trying to be relevant again. I'm not going to name him, but he was the self-improvement guy because his story was, oh, I'm of a different race, so I was discriminated against. It's going to make it too obvious, but whatever. I used to work a dead-end job, and then I started posting on YouTube. And if you just copy me and do what I did, you'll be rich. Well, I do tell other people to post on YouTube, and I do tell them to copy me in certain respects, but I don't tell them to exactly copy my flow because that's not going to get you anywhere because I'm already doing it. That's why, like, with nutrition videos, I say my inspiration is Team 3D Alpha, but I don't copy his videos because... Not only is that plagiarism and wrong, you've already seen it, so it's not going to go anywhere. So if there's something I can leave you with, people do change and people can and should be forgiven, except for with certain things like, you know, people preying on kids, you cross the line in my perspective, and I'm sure most of you will agree with me. But a lot of people on this app that you say like, oh, they've become predators, they've fallen off, they were always like this. There's so many content creators Especially there's this one woman who started out streaming a game and she was like, I'm not like the other girls. I'm really about this game. And then as soon as she started falling off, it was, hey, look at my butt cheeks. You don't understand that, hey, look at my butt cheeks was in her brain the whole time. That was always the backup plan. People don't change like that. If you're willing to do that in the first place, it means it was always in your heart. What changed was you have the power now, so now you're going to abuse it. So again, perhaps we should reframe the question, why do so many YouTubers become predators and ask, why do so many people suck? And the answer to that is from a religious perspective, we live in a fallen world and we all have original sin. And some people are going to say, oh, I'm going to unsubscribe. I was, I've, I've had a lot of lifting videos where I mentioned Jesus Christ and then people go, I got to unsubscribe now. Your lifting advice was good. Look, there are Jews that follow me. There's probably a handful of Muslims that follow me. I probably have hundreds of atheist followers. I don't talk down to them. I don't call them stupid for thinking different. But if you want my opinion, we live in a fallen world. There's going to be evil people. So that's why this happens. But I don't think it's YouTube or fame that changes everybody. I think it's people being people. So I know this is a fitness channel, but I like to be wise sometimes or attempt to be, even though sometimes I can be kind of a snarky jackass. But this is my look at it.